Let's see what they draw up here. Third and long following the sack of Trubisky. Gotta go, gotta go. 18, 18. Lock in, lock in. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush out. And they're going to fake it from deep in their own territory. And this is incomplete. A huge gamble, and it does not pay off. They fake the punt. It doesn't work out. Here comes the Falcons offense. It's their first possession of the second half now. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance to turn that into points Let's on go. the offensive end. Can you imagine what the grease board looks like at the half? Because no, tell me. <laughs> that's exactly what they printed up. Stop them on defense, get the ball back for our offense, and go downfield and score some points. Now, the last part remains to be seen, but they got the first part done very well. Do people use grease boards, or you mean the magic marker boards? Yeah, those two. <laughs> <laughs> they stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. I don't think any of us were surprised that they decided to start this drive on the ground after the last two drives ended in interceptions. Unfortunately, though, not a lot going on on that first play. Yeah, I think the anticipation was felt also by the defense. On second down, Ryan toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. A pretty good coverage there, and both of these defenses, they've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it, and in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Play action, Ryan. Escaping the pressure right. And that is incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball. And we see yet another errant throw as a result. And Bryant's kick is good. And that will knot us up at 10. So they come away from this opening drive in the third quarter with only three, but it does draw them even. Yeah, and that has to be job one, doesn't it? A touchdown definitely would have been nice. We know that. But here, you get back on even terms, and now you've got most of the second half to try and get yourself into a position to win. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. This is fielded at the goal line. And now Chicago getting ready to go as they take the field. Hey, Trubisky go, 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 go. brings the Bears up first and 10 at the 33-yard line. They'll start with a give to Cohen. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Let's go, let's go. Red, red, up! There you go, we go, you see it, you see it? Now it's Trubisky. On the right side, this is Miller. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. A very solid gain of 27. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. Lock in, lock in. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, 18, 18. got him into the right protection scheme, so he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver a downfield for a nice completion. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Call it a three-yard gain, and that'll make it a second down. Lock in, 
Now Trubisky to throw. And his throw is incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half. Incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target of the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. On third down, Trubisky. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Ricardo Allen with a pick. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. The good old cover three defense, partner. When you start playing football as a safety, that's the first thing you're taught. Middle of the field, be as deep as the deepest receiver in any zone, and break on the football when it's thrown, and pick it off, just as we saw there. Ryan and the Falcons now come up first and 10, right at the 30. Here's Freeman. And tough going there as he'll only get it up to about the 31. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, only getting one yard. There was no room to run. Now Ryan. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. It'll be a gain of four. And that'll bring up a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. up to about the 38-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. Now the Bears electing to call a timeout defensively. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Tie game, fourth quarter, and they're going for this thing on fourth down. They'll run it. Freeman. Devontae Freeman is shifting. This doesn't pay off here in short yardage. And the Bears are going to get the football back, and they're going to get it in great field position. Trubisky now, five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. This is Cohen. And he'll be brought down just outside of the 30. A good run there on first down, and it'll leave him with a second and two. 
Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. They try again with Cohen. And he's going to get this one down to the 30. It'll be a gain of two on the play, but they'll remain a few inches short here with third down looming. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. The battle in the trenches is never more important than right now. This is third and in inches. Yep. They'll try to run for it with Howard. Oh, that's just not fair, and now room to run. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Well, how many times do we say in this game is speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. And that led to a really nice game. Lock in, lock in. Hey, 18, 18, 18. Now Trubisky on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Burton. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant go, yardage go. hitting your tight end on that one. This is Howard on second down. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And just like that, it's third down. They go with Howard again. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. And now, defensively, they're going to burn their first time out. Remember, they get an extra time built in coming up here shortly at the two-minute warning. And no move to get the offense off the field. Lock they're it, going it. on fourth and five. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. They'll get neither the touchdown nor the first down. And the Falcons' defense stands tall. They'll get the football back. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. The drive will start with a carry by Devontae Freeman. And he will take this up to about the eight-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Now a timeout coming in here defensively as they stop it before the two-minute warning with 2.09 to go in the game. Devontae Freeman, 92 yards, and the Falcons have broken our tie. Hey, that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement, but I'm looking at the clock and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off now. On the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you haven't, you just have the confidence, hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But boy, that's a big score right there to give him the advantage. Here's Bosher to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the inline. And now the Bears coming out as they get 